Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Thanks for joining us for Sunday afternoon football. The sun is shining in today as they've decided to leave the roof open. Fair crowd in to watch this game today. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, I know it should be a great game today. For today's match, we have the Saints and Geelong. Full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. You're right, Hutto. It's a big day for Geelong at Fords. If they can get on top of the St Kilda defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. The banners are ready for the players. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Geelong wins the toss. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. We're underway. Stanley slaps it away. Jones was surrounded. He needed to mark it and he did. Steele drives the kick. Dunstan couldn't snaffle it. Hurried kick. Collects the loose ball. We'll get a ball up on the wing. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Phillips just hunted him down. Fails to fend off the tackler. Constant pressure and rewarded. Couldn't quite with the mark. Selwood powers through the tackle. Coughed up by Parfitt. Robertson just gets it onto the boot. Dunstan marks up contested. St Kilda would love to make the most of this opportunity. No issues with that drop pass. Gets some reward for his efforts. And we have the first goal of the match. Swats it. He gains possession. Movement by hand. Intercepted by Abbott. Still hacking it out of there. Takes the mark all by himself. The ball ends up going to ground. The loose ball scooped up. Hacking it out of there. Takes a strong mark. Moves it by foot. Decides to keep it alive. Eventually the ball goes over the line. And the umpire will throw it in. Thrown in now. Stanley hurls it away. Mops up the loose ball. Gresham gets in the way. Gresham throws the ball away. Blitzarves drives a low kick. Finds a target. Uses it now. The mark has been taken. Schlenzer hacking it out of there. Taking a nice grab. Dangerfield does well to mark. Puts boot to ball. Schlenzog gains possession. Going for goal number one. Close call there, but it just made it for a score. He's enjoying that goal. Geelong kicked there first. Back in the middle now. One down. Gathered by... Found a way through. Sends it clear of the contest. Phillips with the mark. Quickly onto the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Goes with the kick. Henderson uses the body well. With a driving kick. 
Picking it up was Duncan. Wants to keep it moving. Dahlhaus comes away with the ball. Loney moves it by hand. Geary kicks hurriedly. Marks that ball uncontested. He heads for home. A drop part through the goals. He's excited about that one. St Kilda by six points. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Centre bounce. Won it down. The ball in the hands of Abbott. Henderson couldn't hang on to the ball. Guthrie goes for territory. Billings throws the ball away. Bangs it on the boot now. The ball finds Guthrie. Got boot to ball. Views hurried kick. They chase after the loose ball. It's cut off by Henderson. Looking to kick. Goal number two. They get around him after that effort. St Kilda could kick the last two goals. The Saints, two goals up. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. That's a really good team goal. Umpire ready to resume play. Abbott just slaps it down. Hill just handballs into space. Marks in a bit of space. Chance to put one through for his side. 35 metres out. Lining up now, directly in front. Loney going for number one. He delivers with a drop pass. He's enjoying that goal. That's three in a row for St Kilda. St Kilda by three goals. Steele has a teammate on the move. With the ball now. That's a big goal. What an effort. This league getting bigger now. Celebrating hard. That's four in a row for St Kilda. The margin is 24. Jenkins farmed it down. With the ball is Hawkins. Parfit just gets it onto the boot. Finds this and marks well. Fogarty will kick from beyond the 50. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for goal number one. Jones missed an opportunity to mark. Parfit kicks an incredible goal off the ground. Gets some reward for his efforts. We're back in the middle to resume play. One down by Abbott. He has the ball. The ball goes to ground. He's got the football now. The ball spills to Phillips. Easily takes the mark. Good opportunity for St Kilda to put a goal through here. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. He takes aim. Loney has a great set of hands. 15 metres out. He gives it a ride. Goal! Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda, by 24. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. We're back in motion. Abbott guides it down. He wins possession. Is accepted. Fends off the tackler. Slams it on the boot. Well collected. Guthrie quickly onto the boot. Robertson dismisses his opponent with disdain. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. And the Cats trailing by 24. That quarter time. St Kilda could come out and started well and show them they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one.
plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Geelong can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this one. Thanks, Gary. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back in the middle now. Stanley got a fist to it. Steel goes off the ground. Abbott with a short hand pass. Butler getting in on the act. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. He's excited about that one. About to resume hostilities. Stanley thumps it clear. Showing control was Duncan. Menegola on the ball. He'll just dismiss the tackler. Handball's out in front. Here's steal. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Buse just manages to release the kick. Control well off the bounce. Nice mark under pressure. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number two. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. No problems with that kick from Jenkins. He puts through his first goal. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. The Cats close the gap to 24. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Geelong just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. Just releases the ball. Ball gets cut off. Webster was taken high in the tackle. Clears the danger for now. Brown found a way to mark that one. Looks up with the kick. Schlensog runs after the ball. Turned it over. Has it now. Hanabry just threw it. Menegola puts it on the boot. Guthrie wins the ball in the air. St Kilda just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Opportunity now for Dalhouse. Decides to go to the middle. Duncan gets in a good position. Putting this one through would give Geelong plenty of confidence. Takes a nice mark. Moved on by Savage. Marking in space for Phillips. Spears the ball. Rowan looks to get onto the football. Howard collects it. Sweeping handball. Ball collected. Gathers it now. Kicks hurriedly. An easy grab for Butler. Moves the ball by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Gresham plays on. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Drops the ball. Taylor just threw it. Patton sets his sights on the goals. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. This kick stretches the lead. The time to celebrate. And don't they get around Patton. St Kilda by five goals. Thump by Stanley. Collected by Robertson. Gives it, don't argue. Menegola kicks it. Rowan wins the marking contest. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Lining up for goal. Going for goal number one. 
just couldn't get it to curve enough. The lead is now 31. Taylor assessing the options. Takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Ends up marking uncontested. Found space for an easy mark. Ball spills. Just gave it away. Dishes it off. He has the ball. He's got the football now. Taken by Jenkins. McKenzie will be upset with that. O'Connor puts another one through. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong reduced the margin. We resume hostilities. Hammers it. Is in his possession. Jenkins steals possession. Intercepted. It's a turnover. Hill releases the ball. A clean pickup. Just handballs into space. Just manages to release the kick. He gets his hands on the footy. Hands that ball to the opposition. At full stride, receives the handball. Good mark and looks to send it back. The Saints are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. A chance to reload the attack now. Henry elects to kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. St Kilda aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Jenkins looks in need of a spell. A time to celebrate. His teammates rush over. They are back in it. The game is back underway. Punches are clear. Dangerfield there to mop up. Gets a hand to the ball. Just dismisses his opponent. Gives it to Hill. With the ball now. Hit the man hard. Elects to kick. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He's been superb tonight, I don't... A good second term. See the scores. St Kilda, 49. And Geelong, 30. St Kilda have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Butler having an impact right now. He's the most dominant player on the ground at the moment. Everyone takes a collective breath and will return with the second half. A big second half about to begin. Umpire ready to resume play. Stanley clears the contest. Great tackling there, Hutto. Dangerfield keeps coming. Ball off hands. Howard not getting much of it, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. I'm The Cats now only trail by 18. Howard with the responsibility of kicking it in. Gets into some space to mark this. Phillips with the ball. Savage on the end of the turnover. Great tackle. Takes possession. Up for grabs for Menegola. Seen plenty of it. That goal is a cracker. He loved that one. That's three in a row for Geelong. The Cats behind by 12. Punches are clear. He gains possession. Pushes through with power. Can't take the mark. Carpet rushes with the kick. Finding the loose ball was Jones. Gets the handball away. Missed the target. Menegola couldn't be happier with that goal. Just two goals in it. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground.
It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Back in the middle now. Stanley with a big fist on it. Dangerfield was taken high in the tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Rowan takes it well. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. A chance to level the scores right now. Bobby gets on the end of this. Ten metres out. goals we're all tied up now spills the mark needs a bit of a rest Brown can't hold on to the tackle makes the most of that kick it's a goal he acknowledges the crowd Geelong Kovacs and Kilda but six the game is back underway Stanley just swats it away Duncan struggling to run at the moment. Abbott gurns a free kick. Goes by foot. Jones with an easy mark. Elects to keep moving. He flicks it over. Dunstan gets on the end of that handball. Steele gives it to the player running past. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Thrashes it. Wins the race to the ball. Can't separate these two teams now if he kicks this one. Membry getting the crowd involved. We're all tied up now. We're back in motion. Stanley gets onto the ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Brown doesn't take the mark. Clears the congestion. Ends up turning this ball over. Gets a touch to the ball. Henry takes it well. Handballs. Ends up with Stephen. Doing well to intercept that kick. He drives it. Jones found some space and marked. Tries to gain some territory. Does well to keep it in play. Releases the handball. Dunstan has the ball. Does well to cut off the kick. He puts it out of bounds on the full. Kick by Steele. He gets above the crowd. Kick by Savage. Gresham just put it on the boot. Gains some territory. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Rowan sticks the tackle. Outstanding pressure. They can create from this. Just put it on the boot. Off hands from Robertson. Taken well at ground level by Howard. Links with hands. Geary moves it now. Takes that one strongly. Gresham decides to play on. Penetrating handball. Intervening brilliantly was Guthrie. Hacking it out of there. Manages to get a hand away. Turned it over. Missed the target. Going for goal number one. That one right. Now they lead by one. Power to bring it in. Savage takes the mark uncontested. Uses it by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. Decides to kick. Geary got under it. Slams it on the boot. An easy grab for Savage. Puts it on the boot. Strong mark in the contest. Goes by foot. And the mark will be paid. The kick from Howard. Hill might have overworked himself there. Dunstan slams it onto the boot. Patton failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. He lays off the pass. Shows some physicality. Henry will be the recipient of the free. Looks up with the kick. Great grab. Sends the ball inside 50. Patton boots on by the crowd. Prepares to kick. 40 metres from home. This shot should be elementary from here. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. 
He celebrates hard after that. St Kilda have kicked the last two goals. They're in the lead now. Big thump from Stanley. Hurried kick. Intercepted. Jenkins slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Smiles all round. They've hit the front. About to resume hostilities. Stanley with the hit. Gets it away. He's got the footy in his hands. Ablett with the intercept. Ablett throws the ball away. Elects to kick. It's, we have one quarter left to play. What caught your eye, Gary? Geelong will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. For both sides finding plenty of scoring opportunities that term. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Geelong have got on top in the contested possession. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Stanley won the hit out. Hanover needs a chance to rest. Releases the handball. Dunstan collects the loose ball. That's something to smile about. Puts his second on the board. They get around him after that effort. It's on again as St Kilda take back the lead. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Back in the middle now as the Rucks go at it. Stanley with the punch. Ablett gets a quick kick away. Took his eyes off the ball. Hits him hard. Picked up by Benegola. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. A second goal in the bag. Smiles all round. They've taken the lead. That's a really good team, though. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Geelong leading the inside 50s, and right now that's converting into scores. Webster has resources out wide. Phillips quickly under the boot. Menegola just threw it. Gresham puts it on the boot. Ball gets cut off. Finding the ball with ease. Duncan drives it out of the pack. Rowan takes the mark. Rowan has resources out wide. Wasting a lot of effort there. Handballs out into space. It bounces to the advantage of the opposition. They could take the lead here. They'll snatch the lead. scores a tie. Henderson searching for a teammate. He looks like he needs a spell. Decides to soccer it. Loney picks up the loose ball. Henry brushed off easily. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. He's excited about that one. The margin is six. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Goes by hand to Ablett. Hawkins moves it by hand, and now they're away. Puts it right through the middle. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. He acknowledges the crowd. It's all level here. We resume hostilities. Big thump from Jenkins. Pushes off the tackler. He wins possession. Going for goal number one. That one hits the One points the difference. Searching for a teammate. Decides to play on there. Punches the kick. Good mark there. Moved on by Brown. 
A good mark out of the circumstances. Heads long with that kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Steven right on the edge of his range. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Mops up the loose ball. Found a way to keep it alive. Abbott didn't mark it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Dalhouse throws the ball away. Goes with the kick. Dangerfield lines up from long range. Chose to kick it. A mark by O'Connor. Distance won't be a problem from here. Move it on. A chance to put a second goal on the board. O'Connor loves that goal. Geelong by seven points. Back in the middle now. Geelong aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Picked off by Patton. A time to celebrate. That's number three. He just loved that one. Oh, there's nothing in this now. Centre bounce. Punched away. This is Hill. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Hacks it forward. McKenzie is blowing hard after that effort. Gets a handball away. Just goes bang. Scoops it up. Schlensoff, Kenny put it through. It was always pushing that post and pushing it so hard, it hit it. The Cats by two points. Considering the options on the kick in. Geary marks in a bit of space. Keeps moving. Jones links up with a chance to run. Uses the hands instead of the body and it's a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. Nice hands. Decides to kick. He gives away a free for in the back. O'Connor keeping it low. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. You're right, Hanno. He's gone missing lately. Has a man running for him. Butler kicks hurriedly. Loney soccer's a kick. Off the ground. And it's a goal, but still a second goal in the bag. He celebrates hard after that. That's two in a row for St Kilda. St Kilda take back the lead. Applies a bump. Dangerfield hurry kick. So what could Geelong do with this opportunity in front of goal? Jenkins marks uncontested. That looked great. What a goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. They're in front. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. About to resume play. Clears the contest. Duncan onto the ball. Stanley coming onto the ground. It'll be a ball up. A critical stage of this one. Abbott thumps it forward. Found a way to keep balanced. The handball now from Jenkins. The mark is taken by Parker. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. He decides to go for home. That was sweet. They put through another. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Parker getting the crowd involved. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement.
Hudson, Kilda have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Geelong need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Handballs. Here's a chance for Butler. Lining up for goal number four. He's put it through. Butler couldn't be happier with that goal. St Kilda now only trailed by two. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Geelong a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Can't take possession. Dug out the loose ball. St Kilda threw everything at them, but they couldn't get over the line. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? I can't think of much to say, Hutto. That was one of the best games I've ever seen. Cheers, Gaz. Geelong come away victorious with 94 to 92. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Hutto. Until next time.